Hi everyone. Today I'm going to take a look at how MIDI mapping works in Stagebox. MIDI mapping is really important to understand if you want to do any real-time tweaking of your sounds as you play them. That could be anything from a simple filter sweep, to control over the draw bars of a Hammond organ, to complete one-to-one -one control over a synth plugin. Stagebox has got a pretty comprehensive MIDI mapping section, so let's take a look. I'm going to start with one of my favourite synth plugins, which is the OBXD by Disco DSP. Now, without doing anything at all, I can see that if I move the controller on my keyboard, which is set to MIDI CC39, it's moving the decay knob over here. And you'll usually find that a lot of soft synths have got MIDI CCs that are natively like baked into them, which is great and they work. But the problem with that is, particularly from a live show point of view, is that maybe you want, say, a particular parameter to always recall at a particular value whenever you start that song. Or maybe you want to have a bit more control over what the minimum and maximum values for that parameter are. So that's why Stagebox has got its own built-in MIDI mapping, which you can get to by pressing the little MIDI map button down here. And when I do that, it's going to open up a little side window, which gives me some MIDI parameter options. So in order to create a mapping, all I need to do is move the parameter that I want to map. So in this case, I'm going to move the cutoff and then I move the knob on my MIDI controller that I want to map to it, and then I hit Add Mapping, and done. And now when I move this same controller on my MIDI controller, it's controlling the cutoff frequency on the plugin. I can carry on doing that as many times as I want. So let's say I want to map resonance to this controller, and envelope amount to this controller, and now I've got control over those three different things. Now, one of the biggest advantages of using the MIDI mapping in Stagebox instead of using the native mapping that might come with the plugin is that I do now have control over the minimum maximum values for that setting and a recall value. So let's take a look at that. Minimum maximum just sets the endpoints for your controller. So if I put the minimum and maximum at about 10 and 12 o'clock, what that means is that now when I move the controller on my MIDI keyboard, however far I move the controller, the actual parameter on the plugin is only going to move between 10 and 12 o'clock. I can also put the minimum value above the maximum value, and that's going to invert the controller. So now when I turn the controller up, the cutoff's going to go down, and when I turn the controller down, the cutoff's going to go up. That may seem kind of counterintuitive, but actually for things like Hammond organ drawbars, that's exactly what you want because the mapping is kind of upside down compared to how most MIDI controller faders are. The next option here is the recall value. So if I put the recall at 12 o'clock, what that means is however much I tweak this value here, whenever I relaunch that song, it's going to recall that value of 12 o'clock. And that can be really useful if, for example, you know that a song always starts with the filter in a particular position, it will just recall that value every time. And sometimes you might find that there's a bit of confusion between the built-in mappings that might come with a plugin and mappings that you make in Stagebox. And that's why by default in the MIDI settings, you'll see that this controller's filter is always set to off. And that stops the MIDI CCs going to the actual plugin, but does let you map the plugin through Stagebox, which gives you a bit more control over things like recall values and minimum maximum settings. So let's take a look at a Hammond organ plugin and see how the mappings work with that. So on this particular controller, I don't have any faders. I've only got endless pots, but I can still map those pots to the draw bars to have control over the sound. One of the things I can do in Stagebox is map the same pot to multiple parameters. That can be really useful for something like a Hammond organ if you don't need complete control over the draw bars, but you want some control. So I'm going to map this pot here to all six of these draw bars like this. And now that single pot is controlling all six of those draw bars, which means I can go from this kind of sound to this kind of sound just with one pot, which I think is pretty useful. So depending on exactly what kind of mapping you're using and exactly what you want that mapping to do, Sometimes it might be more useful to use the MIDI CC maps that are baked into the plugins, and sometimes it's going to be more useful to make your own ones using the mapping in Stagebox. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.